Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Tableau and SQL interview questions that were asked in Novartis. So let us thank a subscriber who has shared us these questions so that it can be of help to others who are watching. So without wasting much time, let us get started. Meanwhile, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that and don't forget to comment so that it can reach wider audience. So the interview called, you know, from now Creek and uh, based on my availability, they have scheduled the, I mean, based on the subscribers availability, uh, you know, they have scheduled the interview after checking what is the expected package and all they offered like nine to 11 was their bracket range. Okay, so now uh, the interview was scheduled uh, somewhere in the third or fourth week of August. So first question was like, you know, first he tried to understand what is uh, the role. What is the role? Uh, what kind of uh, work uh, do they do? So first he tried to find out that. So there were some generic questions uh, on that so to understand uh, uh, the candidates exposure on the tableau and sql so some questions generic questions were thrown for which you know he answered next was like what, first question he started off with directly with lod question what is lod so it is like a very generic question you need not worry whenever you get this kind of question obviously we can explain what is lod level of detail expression and then you can talk about the types that we have, like say, fixed I have, include I have, and exclude. And if you are using LOD in your projects, you can tell them at least one use case. If you are not, at least you can tell you know how it is done. Like you know, uh, LOD expressions need to be enclosed in flower brackets. Uh, this fixed uh, include and exclude are called as scoping words. Okay, and the syntax is written as in a uh, keyword followed by a dimension, colon, and one aggregation field. So this is something that is a mandatory for LOD expression. So this kind of explanation you can do for LOD expression. So if you have used in your project, you can explain that scenario. If not, it, this much would be enough for that. So next, next is like again, like I said, what kind of work do you do in Tableau? So one question should summarize all of your roles and responsibilities here. So you can include all the all your day to day activities here, like, you know, right from gathering requirement. OK, uh, attending meetings. Preparing. Uh, documentation developing and migration and production support all of these points you need to mention in your you know uh, answer for this kind of question okay so remember this it is very important i mean in in every interview that you go you might get this kind of question okay or at least on the work that you do in tableau is very important I mean, at least we should be in a state to explain that. Next is difference between live and extract. One generic question that we all are aware. You can talk about that. So definition and how it works. We all know. So I'm not answering here. Next is what do we see after loading the data in Tableau? So obviously, once the data is loaded into Tableau, we look for values. And we see that whether the latest changes are impacting on Tableau or not, and they are you know uh, matching or not. So if there is any discrepancy, the client or user will get back to us. And again, we have to see if, if it is in sync with the database or not. So if uh, the refresh is done successfully, then it should reflect on the dashboard. So if not, you have to see why there was failure and you need to fix it so if the issue is at db level you might need to connect with the database team and ask them to refresh so once their refresh is done you need to refresh your tableau report by rerunning that way 
you are fixing the data issue or you know, the incomplete data that got loaded. So for this, you need to check your logs or the server notification which throws whenever there is an error or there is an issue. Oops. Next is types of data sources and maximum number of data sources you connected to. Again, one generic question you, uh, that is thrown at you. So types of data sources, you can talk about uh, to which data source you are connected or you know what you have written in resume, you can tell that. So like suppose uh, I will tell, I have uh, connected to Snowflake data source to build my reports, or I have connected to SQL server to build my reports. That is one data source. And maximum number of data sources you are connected to. So maximum number, like you know the, the different exposure you had in connecting to different types of data sources. So I will say, you know, I have connected to SQL server for one of my project. I've connected to Snowflake for one of my project like that. So two to three would enough. This is just to judge or you know guess how many databases you have worked. So if you have kept only one, then that should be enough. You can show only that. Okay. So next is again, how do parameters affect change when value is changed here? Now here, if I go to a tableau here, generally when we create a parameter here, suppose I'm selecting this, choose category here, I'm editing this. I have three values because in our category item, we have got these three values, okay? Now suppose, so this is static for now. Uh, whenever you open parameter, only these values will show up. But suppose we got a fourth item in category item. So there is suppose there is something else, like say manufacture is also introduced in your category. So that should also be updated in parameter. Now, how can I get that? So we can click on this open workbook and we can click on this category. Now what happens is if there are any new items in your category automatically, that will also come up in the parameter that so in that way we can make our category also dynamic. One very important question to remember and one very important concept also during your implementation. If you feel that you know your categorical item or your dimensional values might change in future, then you can always look for this. Otherwise, you can directly go for this fixed option, which will fix your values. Okay, so that is the question uh, here. And how to create donut chart? One common question that is asked many times in the interviews, like they will ask like, you know, what are the steps to create a donut chart? Because many times when an interviewer asks, what is the new chart that you have created? Many candidates tell that, okay, they have created donut chart. So the next step or the next question that they ask is, how do we create a donut chart? So simple for that, what I'm doing is I'm taking region and region wise I'm sales I'm creating or maybe for that I'm creating a pie chart. There are n methods. I'm just using uh, the most common uh, or the most easiest way. And now what I'm doing is I'm just uh, uh, you know, creating a dummy field so that I can duplicate this. So for that I'm creating or uh, writing minimum of one as one dummy calculation. And I'm just duplicating that using my control button. So I got two. So I, two here, two pie charts. and two options in the my uh, marks shelf so for one i am removing everything okay so only circle i have got now i'm just little uh, decreasing the size here now using the dual accepts accept uh, dual access concept i can merge and create a simple donut chart now when i change the color to one simple donut chart i will increase it and I will increase the size of the other pie chart also. Okay. So these are the steps that you need to tell when someone asks you about the steps that are there in the donut chart. Okay. Next is what is quick filter? Quick filter is nothing but a user filter that is that can be seen in your report. Okay. Suppose if I go to the same report here, now I want to control the region. So if I drop a filter here, the filter that is available here is not visible to the end user okay so that is report level filter but if i click on this and click on show filter this is viewable filter the end user can see this report and he can interact with the report whatever you want like that you see 
okay so that is this is called as a quick filter here okay what is dual access so whenever you want to merge multiple accesses together then you can use a concept called as dual access so example is like suppose again i am taking my order date in one and i am taking sales and i am taking profit as well so i have multiple measures here right so i'm taking i'm dragging and dropping them now i got multiple accesses here one is for sales and one is for profit if at all i want to merge these two together then i can use a concept called as dual access just click on the second measure and click on dual axis it will merge both of them but one point you always need to remember whenever you are using dual axis is you need to synchronize your axis because so if i put it like this you see on one side my sales are like 1 lakh 2 lakh 3 lakh 4 lakh but on the other it is 10 000 20 30 40 50 like that so it is often confusing to which side i should look and what is my sales here so best way i can use is right click on this and click on synchronize now i know both them both of them are in sync so i can only put one access in the view or maybe i can e remove even that also and i can simply show my values okay so this is your dual access okay so these were the questions that were asked in tableau perspective next you know he went on to direct sql questions and the first question that he was that he asked was third highest salary now let us go to our sql server and see how we can do so for that what i'm doing is i've connected to sql server here and i'm taking my employee table and if i run it select the star from emp i got this and uh, i'm just doing order by salary descending to sort my salaries okay now what i'm doing is i just i'm using a dense rank function star comma dense rank of uh, over order by salary descending okay and i'm calling it as rank number okay from my employee table let us see what is the result here now what is happening for each based on our salary this dense rank function is naming the rank number or row number here you can consider now i will use this input select star from i'll close and i'll close this and call it as a where rn is equal to third simple so now it will give us third record is like say jones 7566 we should get mm. Okay, maybe something I have missed here, but yeah, overall this should work for you. This is seven five double six. Okay, it is giving us that result. Next is difference between between and in operator. Again, one very important concept to understand the SQL here. Suppose between is like you know range of values. Like say suppose we have here and i'm just sorting it by again salary here i want to get the list of employees between 1000 and 1500 like say now what i'll do here from emp where salary between 1000 and 1500 simple okay now i'll just simply run this you see we got only those so it's like a range of values between we are getting like between your start date and end date like that whereas in is something different where we are specifically telling what are the values that i need like that so same again select star from emp i'm doing here i want only department 30 or department 20 and 30 so i can write it as where department department number in 10 comma 20 so only these two departments i will get see okay so that way you can define what is between and in operator here okay so next was what is string and date function so whenever you are working with a string data type or string type data then you will use string functions like your substring functions your left right and all so even if you go to tableau 
we have many functions here. If I click on this, create calculated field. And if I expand this selection and select it to string, you see these are all our string functions. So to manipulate your string data, we can use. So, so you can name them, some of them, like you know, lower is there, upper is there, left is there, right is there, trim function is there, substring function is there, okay? find is there like that okay so every tool will have some specific functions but most of them like they will remain same 70 to 80 percent will remain same so you can talk about that and whenever you are playing with your date data then date function will come into picture very important you know uh, data type in terms of your real-time use cases so you need to practice or spend more time on these two functions mostly so comment in comment section if at all you want a video on uh, the string functions and date functions i can create one for you okay so next is again difference between delete drop and truncate very important interview question i think one of the most frequently asked question it is okay so how we can re re uh, remember is delete always is a conditional statement like you know whenever you are using a delete statement you have to use it with where class okay so like say delete from table name where department number is equal to 20 so i'm specifying here whereas drop and truncate are not like this okay so truncate means it will directly remove all of the data in your table whereas drop means it will remove the entire table itself be it with the data or without data doesn't matter but whenever you are using drop it will drop the table entirely directly from the database so when i click on drop table employee this employee table will be directly removed from my database like that whereas truncate means it will keep the structure but it will clear the entire data whereas delete is a conditional delete statement like that okay again top nth record from the table he asked the generic syntax like what would be the syntax so same thing that you have used above will work okay so next was like again from a list of employees containing higher date figure out which one joined five months back so he wanted to find out list of employees who joined five months back so we can do this using higher date different date difference of higher date and today and then get it the months from that and then you can find it okay so these were the tableau and sql questions that were asked in know what is okay so do prepare well you know whenever you are attending for such big companies because they offer a very good package and you know a good and healthy working culture in the company Okay, so that's it from my side in this video. If you like it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day and bye-bye.